everybody. As you guys already know, the New York Yankees made a little minor trade. And I want to take some time to talk about it. Look, news is kind of slow. I kind of like this whole holding the mic thing. I'm just chilling here, just uh, chilling, having a conversation. But as you guys know, the Yankees, DFA, Lucas Litge a while ago, and they went ahead and were able to trade him. So that's nice. Why not? Look, if you could trade a guy, you trade him. Lucas Litge was set to make a little more money, nothing out of the ordinary. Made a little under a million dollars last year. Arbitration eligible was going to make a little bit more uh, this year. So let me just get one thing pulled up real quick, and then we will get into everything. I also do want to do a roll call real quick. So I thank everybody for being here. You guys are awesome. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, cool, 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 cool. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? How you guys doing? I kind of feel like I'm on stage holding this mic. What are we talking about over here? Come on, let's see who we got up in here. I saw Samantha talking. Samantha, how you doing? Anthony Garcia, how you doing? CWE Best Eye, how you doing? How you doing? Medina, how you doing? What's going on, Anthony? Medina Rubin, my guy. Phil, how you doing, Phil? Anthony Garcia, Brad, what's up, Brad? Tim, King of Jordans. What's going on, man? Hirsch, for real. Hirsch, my guy. My guy. What's going on, man? Radke Rods, what up? Andrew, how you doing? Steels, what's going on, fam? Steels, I'm getting that real done, my guy. I've been busy. I've been really busy, all right? Pedro Camacho, what's going on, Pedro? RB, what's good, fam? J Val, how you doing? Tiffany, how you doing? How you doing? What's going on, Tiffany? Giancarlo, what's good? Andrew, what's good? We got the whole, the chat is going bonkers up in here. Johnny Almonte, how you doing? What up? Franco, how you doing? Gordon, what's goody, goody two shoes? Matt, how you doing, fam? How you doing? Eddie V. What's good? Hi from the DR. Eddie, how you doing? How you doing? D's channel. What's good? Good. What's good? Good. All right, guys. Let's get into the conversation here real quick, all right? I ain't going to be around here forever. As you guys know, this is not some uh, break. Oh, my God, everybody. The Yankees made a trade. Oh, Don Sicario. What's going on, fam? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Edwin, Crystal Flash, what's goody goody two shoes? BX in the casa. Let's go, Bron Bron. How you doing? James, my guy, Argentina in the house. We international, fam. By the way, guys, if you guys like that intro, you, you don't got to tell. Don't tell me if you like the intro. I know you liked it. You don't even got to say anything. You don't even got to say anything, okay? You don't even got to guys. you guys say I don't got to hear you guys say anything. It's all good. Guys, do me a favor. Smash it. Slap the shit out that like button like you Domingo Herman. All right? Slap the shit out that like button like you Domingo Herman over here. All right? So, guys, what's going on, everybody? We got some news for you. Of course, Lucas Litke has been traded to the Atlanta Braves. Now, you guys already know he was already DFA. The Yankees got time to... Um, make trades and whatnot while a guy is DFA. They went ahead and traded them. But look, this is pretty interesting. Let's get this pulled up. Flip on over. Flip on over. Let's take a look together, guys. Lucas Litke, you guys already know the dealio. Lucas Litke really came back and did his thing. I got to give him credit. Was not a fan favorite. I did not like Lucas Litke. He somehow always seemed to put up decent numbers. 2.670 ERA last year. 50 games. 57 in his pitch. 60 Ks. These are good numbers, but he never kind of, you know, he never blew you away. He never blew you away. There was never nothing about Lucas Litke that you kind of looked at and said, you know what? It's a big loss for the Yankees. It was never that, obviously. So losing him is not a big deal for me, or I think it shouldn't be a big deal for any of you guys. Nobody should be mad that the Yankees lost Luke, Lucas Litke. But overall, you see the numbers. He got traded for two prospects, Caleb D uh, Durbin and Indigo Diaz. We're going to jump over to Indigo Diaz real quick because Indigo Diaz is number 23 ranked on the Braves' top 30 prospects. Now, hey, 
Look, I'm sorry to tell you guys, if you could trade Lucas Lidgen, you get a top 30 prospect for him and another younger prospect. Yankees are loading up on the infielders, by the way. Indigo Diaz is a two-way player, mind you. I do believe Indigo Diaz is a two-way player. I want to make sure I'm correct about that. Uh, let's see. Projects as a reliever. Uh, maybe he's not a two-way player. The only reason I said that, I'm actually waiting for Dane to give me information on these guys. Because here it says relief pitcher and right fielder. So let's see if he actually played, if he actually batted. Let's see, register batting. No, he didn't. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know why they got him listed as that. He hasn't done that. So he's a pure, he is a pure uh, thrower, so to say. So let's get that. Diaz is six foot five, right hand, who profiles as a reliever only. He can get his fastball up to 97 miles an hour, but typically sits in around 92, 93. It plays up because of the carry in the zone and his extension coming down on the mound. His power breaking ball can get slurvy. Yankees love that. The Yankees love that slurvy. Uh, Diaz generally has shown a penchant uh, for throwing strikes somewhat consistently, generally attacking the zone and going right after hitters, but his walk rate continues to climb with Mississippi. In 2022, he doesn't need pinpoint command to fill a prominent role in the big league bullpen, something he should be able to do once he can handle the upper levels of the minor league. So, again, switch back over. And he faced double A last year. That's as high as he got, was two double A at 23 years old. He fared pretty well 3.08 ERA, 49 innings, 63 strikeouts. Those are promising. A lot of walks. That's not as promising. 31 walks in a 49 innings. That's not good. But other than that, you can see why the Yankees might like the, the big right-hander. On the other hand, you got Caleb Durbin, who last year got as high as A ball uh, and, and A plus, high A. Nothing spectacular here for Durbin. I'm waiting on our good friend uh, Dane Huber to give us some more information on these guys. But the Yankees are loading up. On the inf on the prospects, they are loading up on infield guys. So I don't know. Look, I'm not looking too much in the Yankees getting Caleb Durbin like he's supposed to do something. But they also got the other day. Uh, what's my man's name? Um, Wilmer Defoe. They also added Wilmer Defoe, who's another guy that plays all over the place. And we'll see. We got our first super chat right here. From the legendary DJ Steels. DJ Steels. Oh, oh, go Spank! Go Spank! Oh, I love that Spanky. Steels says trade LI to Cleveland for Nayla. I'll do it. Oh, man. LI Guardian King is on his way back home. Go home, baby boy. How true are the Trout rumors? Give it time and we'll find out. Uh, Bauer is the move. I would love Bauer. I'm pretty sure there's probably people in New York that don't like Bauer, but I don't really care. I'd be all for, uh, I'd be all for Bauer, to be quite honest with you guys. I'd be all for that. Uh, so this means Volpe will be the third baseman for the Yankees. What the hell? Where, where do you get that? Where, where? This move means that Volpe's going to be the third baseman for the Yankees? Where do you get that from? Where do you get that from? Taco Notra says, Pete, do you know what Felix is talking about? Oh, well, uh, Felix is trying to put me on the spot. My man, my guy. He's trying to put me on the spot because there is some rumors out there, but nothing has been confirmed. So, I, I obviously, I don't put clickbait bullshit out there, guys. I only do it when I know it's legit. And as of right now, there's no confirmation on anything. So, we'll wait for that. Bauer would be a hit in New York. Hit. He'll be a hit. <laughs> God almighty Jigga man Porto What's going on fam fam How we doing I don't I can don't I can don't So guys by the way This deal who gives a poop You know what I mean The Yankees got a couple of guys back Alright Indigo Diaz Could be something He could be something The Yankees are loading up on um, The Yankees are obviously loading up on infield guys for whatever reason i don't know maybe there's a deal of brewing i don't know maybe there's a deal of brewing we don't know can we give donaldson away wouldn't that be nice just to go ahead and uh give the damn guy away i think that'll be wonderful to give him away i wish we could 
89 likes in the John John. Why we not at 100, fam? You tell me, I tell you. You tell me, I tell you. We should. You tell me, I don't know. Go ahead. Come on. Hit the like button, guys. Come on. We're at 322 in the John John. Can't even talk right today. I got to hold this damn mic. I can't just. It makes me want to just like chill and lay back. Like I got no other shit to do. Uh, But Pete, is it true? Pete, if this thing is true, will it happen soon? Taco, not bro. I don't know. I, I, I would love to say it would, it will happen soon, from what I'm hearing. But I don't know. I don't know. And again, I'm not putting nonsense out there for no reason. I'd rather have Donaldson than Hicks. Andrew, I think I would too. Um, just because Donaldson could at least field. So if the Yankees somehow got a big player, and you're like, all right, but, but you know, we got this guy, cool, but we're stuck with Donaldson. All right, cool. Be stuck with Donaldson. This is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. People saying they forgot about Hicks. Like they forgot about Hicks. Uh, the Miami Marlins are signing Gene Segura to a two-year deal. Makes sense for them. David Douglas, what's going on, fam? How you doing? How you doing? Anonymous says, Andrew Chafin. Andrew Chafin. Well, the Yankees already got some lefty guys. They actually have... Give me one second. I don't know why I always forget his name, but he's another one of their younger pitching prospects. But my my man got an arm on him. Oh, man, tell me I'm not going to remember his name now. I'm trying to think. Oh, man, I'm not, I'm not going to remember his name. They got I, The only reason I was bringing it up, they got another young guy in the minor leagues who I know is a lefty who... It's still in the minors, but I don't know if the Yankees don't feel like, uh, you know, that they have to go that route. But Chafin's a good player. Chafin will be very good for the for the bullpen. Uh, I hadn't seen the Trey. Give me five minutes, and I'll let you know. All right, so Dane is going to give us a little more information here momentarily um, on the guys we received. Yo, Johnny Almonte, I received your order on NYNewsTV.com, fam. Thank you so much, Crook. Matt Crook, Anthony Medina, thank you so much. That's who I'm talking about. Crook, yes. Where does Correa go? I p personally, to tell you guys the truth, personally, I truly believe he goes back to he's gonna stay a Met. I don't think Cohen's gonna face that you that that uh that uh that letdown there. I don't think he's gonna face that letdown, man. You know what I mean? I don't think he's gonna face that letdown. Bring back Chicken Stanley. Bring back Chicken Stanley. Bring back Chicken Stanley. That sounds like a hell of a friggin' uh, chicken sandwich. Let me get two orders of the chicken sa a chicken, uh, what the fuck is it called? Chicken Sandy? Oh, Chicken Stanley! Let me get the Chicken Stanley, fam. Two of them. Mayo on the side. I'm gonna dip that shit. Sounds all right. Chicken Stanley. I like it. Uh, let's see. Johnny Amante bought the baby boy a shirt. That's that's fam right there, man. Hey, Pete, my son loves the 99 hat, uh, 99 NY News TV snap cap. Got it for him as a Christmas present. Medina, that hits home, fam. I love that. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. You the man. You the man. Guys, give the Yankees some time. I, I think, I think things, um, I think things may start picking up a little after the holiday. So let New Year's pass. And I do think we might be hearing some stuff about the New York Yankees. Allen says, I'm about to get the 99 hat. We also got not just the 99 hat. We also have the captain hat. I'm going to pull that on the screen for you guys, but I want to show you guys something else that we just released. All right. If you guys didn't know already, Designated Spitters is getting a revamp, guys. Look at this. Check this out real quick, guys. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, fam. Check this out. And another reason I'm doing this live, guys, I'm going to be unavailable like all day tomorrow. But let me pop this on the screen for you guys. Bam! Come on, fam. You see this right here? Designated Spitters. Look at the mic upside down. Come on, fam. Look at this. This is the new hat we got out there. The designated spitters hat, baby boy. What we doing, fam? What we doing? Got some new news, too. Hold on. I also revamped me and Medina's favorite shirt. 
Let me get this baby pulled up. We revamped it, Medina. New font. Looking fire. Real talk for the real fan, baby. And by the way, if you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't spank, go spank, you son of a bitch. I didn't even know he was on. He scared the shit out of me, spank. If you guys didn't know already, NYY News is about to bring in your boy, NYY Recaps, as the new spitter for 2023. 2023! Fam. Fam. 2023 is about to get crazy. We're going to have a whole announcement together on something like that very, very soon, guys. So stay tuned for that. But a lot of people are talking about a, a, a big move and this and that. Spank, Spank, Spank. Come on, Spank. Take it easy. Spank's been uh, Spank's been in the angry mood recently, guys. But it is what it is. Um, But just to give you guys some information, there's a lot of rumors out there right now. Um... There's a there's a lot of rumors out there right now uh, regarding um, big deals the Yankees could be working on. There's one of them that I got information on that I'm waiting to confirm. A lot of the rumor is wait until after the new year and you might start hearing some things. So we'll, we'll see. Steals with the super chat. My guy. DJ Steels is my guy. Guys, he put out a reel. Well, he didn't put out a reel. I'm going to turn it into a YouTube reel. But DJ Steels put out a um, video of, of some fun stuff that we that he put together from the Discord server and all that. And it, it's it's pretty um, it's pretty freaking classic, man. But Steele says, what's more likely? Trout or Tatis to the Yankees? Mike Trout, 100% all day. Mike Trout is much more likely to the Yankees than... Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, Ra Thompson, my guy, my guy. And guys, I don't know, you guys might tell me. I don't know if I'm being extra loud today. I don't even know why I got the headset on. I can't really hear myself that good through it. Uh, I forgot I got the Shure mic, and this mic right here is a, is a, um, a dynamic mic. I need my condenser back, so I, I re-got the new guy again. Apparently, guys, it might have been me destroying these things. So I talked to the company today. Ra, I'm going to get to your question. I, I did, You know me. I ramble. Talk to the company today. No joke. I sent the guy some video of me screaming in the mic and what I do. And he goes, where's the where's the, um, where's the the uh, microphone cover at? I said, what do you mean? I got the pop filter on. He goes, if you're screaming like that, saliva's getting everywhere inside a condenser mic that breaks it. Why don't you go ahead and, and, and put the foam cover on top? And I said, gee, wouldn't that be smart? Look at me not knowing jack shit. They still gave me money off it. It's all good. It is what it is. We got a new one coming, big boy. I'm going to send this baby on back home somewhere. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, David, no, we have no idea what this guy is. We have no idea. Neither nor do we care, unfortunately. It is what it is. Rod Thompson, what's going on? He said, Pete, is this move a precursor to other moves? Nah, not really. I mean, they DFA'd him anyway. You know, um, Lucas Lickie was gone. I'll be honest with you. They, they must have had quite a few people. They must have had quite a few people, few teams interested in Lucas Litke for the Yankees to pull off that deal. You know what I mean? They, they must have had quite a few people interested. All right, so this is from our man Dane Huber. Diaz is the biggest name, of course, six foot five, 250 pounds, bullpen arm. He said he could be ready actually this year. A big fastball throws up to the mid mid to high 90s. Should be a big time candidate for Blake um, and Breen to remake the pitch mix. And he could be a very solid guy. Durbin is a lottery ticket that have developed right. Could be a utility guy, IKF type. Uh, so thank you so much, um, Dane Huber, for throwing that in. Dane knows everything about friggin' prospects. Absolutely everything about prospects. You know what I mean? Everything about prospects. And guys, by the way, man, um, look, you guys know me very well. We don't need to we don't need to talk about any other accounts out here. Let them do that about us. Look, I'm too good. I'm too good. NYY News TV is too damn good. 
to talk about anybody at all. I don't give a poot about these people. I don't care about these people. They want to talk about me, talk about me. But next time, just come directly at me instead of stealing money from veterans. You fucking scumbag. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on. Because then I'm going to get hot. I'm going to get agita. And I got to talk about stuff I don't want to talk about. Because guess what? It's all love, baby boy. It's all love, baby boy. Uh, Pete, we need a hint. I'm Dominican. You know we love gossip. I know that. Ariel, my guy. I know Dominicans love the gossip. But no, guys. Look, the Yankees are working on a couple of things. You know, um... I don't want to give a hint because I don't want to get people's hopes up on anything. Like I said, stick around. You guys know I'm not going nowhere. God willing. God willing, I'm not going nowhere. But other than that, other than that, I'll just say this. Um, I'll just simp I'll simply say this. Uh, they're working on a couple of big things. Does anything go through? I don't know. If I wait around a little while, we wait until a week or two. Maybe there's more information on some of the stuff that I've heard. But uh, guys, look, I'll be honest with you. As of right now, everything I've heard is hearsay. And I, I'm just telling you guys, what if everything I heard is nothing that I can 100% confirm. Now, have I got some information from people I trust? Yes, 100%. Do I doubt them? No, I have no reason to. But I don't know if you, again, even they told me, I wouldn't approach this yet. So let's wait and see. I like Andrew Chafin. Andrew Chafin's a good guy. Uh, who we got here? Who we got here? We got DJ Steele's NYY News TV and John Boy Media will be at the Rodone debut. You better believe it, fam. You better believe I like John Boy. I don't have nothing wrong. You know, it's funny. People, for some reason, think I dislike John Boy and their team. Not, I don't care. I, don't, I have no reason to dislike those guys, man. We had a back and forth one time. John Boy was wrong. He try, wouldn't apologize. He admitted he was wrong, but... It is what it is. I have no idea. Look, I'm happy those guys. God bless them. They've done great for themselves. They did something that everybody wants to do. They grew in this business. That's something everybody wants to do. They they got a good club over there. They got a good club. Chris says, why don't people want DJ back as the third baseman who's playing good before the injury? Happy New Year's to you as well. Happy New Year's, my friend. Um, I love DJ LeMayu. You know what I mean? DJ LeMayu is at a point now where he is... Um, going through some tough little bumps in the road on injuries. But if you guys do remember, if you guys do remember, though, DJ LeMayu, before he got hurt again, was an absolute beast. LeMayu got to, I think he got almost to, what, 294? He was on fire. I remember I remember doing games. He's like, oh, damn, this guy's on. He's hot. Like, he didn't stop hitting the ball. He didn't stop hitting the ball. But man, oh man, he is just quickly going up, 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 up. Um, and hopefully he, um, hopefully he's going to be healthy. Because if he is healthy, you got one of the better players in the league. And that's just the truth about LeMay. He's one of the better all-around hitters in the league. Yanks Morning Brew, my guy. That is NYY News TV fam right there. He says, shout out to the entire NYY News TV fam. Shout out to the NYY News TV community. Hashtag, put him in the bathroom. Throw him in the bathroom. Let's go. Let's go. Ace Maddox says, avoid the beef. Look, fam, let me tell you right now something about me. I'm going to teach you guys this really quickly. And anybody who knows me already knows this about me. I don't walk around saying I'm a tough guy. I don't give a poot about that, okay? I don't care about that. But I'm never going to shut up. I'm never going to let somebody shit on me or shit on my name or shit on my team. My team knows that. I've stuck up for my team Hundreds of times, and I always will. But if you have something to say to me, and I see you in person, I will bring it up. I, that's just who I am. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not saying I want to go fight somebody or solve problems. I'm not. No, not at all. But if you got issues with me, all I simply say is, is come bring it to me. Eh? Come talk to me directly. Don't don't throw little undertones. Don't be a coward. That's all. Don't be a coward. Don't do. Don't be 50 years old practicing karate in your basement, paying back the government 200 grand. Shut the fuck up. All right, and then move on. Let's talk about other shit. Stop it. Come on. Come on, come on. Go do Tybo. Come on, stop it. Uh, I went through the 80s Yanks on WPIX. Depressing for a decade. Yeah, I didn't get to see those times, thankfully. That's nice. Correa sells tickets. Correa damn well does sell tickets. You better believe that. My man sells some big tickets. And that would be a hell of a move for the Yankees. Oh, DJ Steele says, don't be a coward. Don't be a L.I. Wow. Anonymous says, if only Boone had those balls. Boone got to have balls, I tell you right now. Pete, I will be going to the second game when Rodon pitches. 
Medina, I told you guys already, man. I am trying. I'm trying to set something up. I'm trying to. I'm trying to set something up for that. So, um, we're, we're working on that right now. I'm trying to set something up. Maybe we have an event. Game two, four oh five game Yankee Stadium immediately out the gate. Game season live opening day, live at Yankee Stadium. Game two, maybe. Maybe we do it. I'm trying to work on that because, look, I'll be there. I'll be there. So I know there's a lot of people already telling me, Pete, if you're, you're, I'm going to be there too. I'm going to be there too. So maybe we, um, maybe we put a little something, something together. Maybe we put a little something, something together. That'll be pretty cool, I think. Correa worth the money for his face card alone. Jersey and ticket numbers will be, yeah, they'll, they'll go through the roof. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. They will go through the roof. They would go through the roof. Uh, let me double check something real quick. Guys, guys, we got Tree 40 in here. I, just, I said it right, not 340. We got Tree 40 in here as we start to approach 2020 Tree. All right? So smash that like button, fam. You already know the dealio. And by the way, too, we are approaching 14,200 subs. We're at 10 away. We're 10 subs away from 14,200, so smash that sub button, the like button, all that fun stuff. What's up, Pete and everyone? Daryl, my guy, how you doing? Trey Torres for Liam Hendricks and Garrett Crochet. Is that how you say his name? Crochet? Crockett? <laughs> I don't even know, fam. Um, I don't like Liam Hendricks, man. I'm going to keep it real with you guys, man. I, I can't like that dude, man. You know, we got some fellow Australians in here. I got nothing wrong to say about Australia. I ain't got nothing wrong to say about Australia. But Liam Hendricks has a problem with America. So don't be making money in America, Liam. Go play baseball in Australia, fam. That's all I'm going to say. You want to talk shit about our country? I don't care how bad our country might be in certain aspects. Don't talk about our country making all these millions of dollars here. Shut your mouth and go kangaroo hop, bitch. Stop it. Let's move on. Crotchet. Croquet. Crochet. Crucheron. me. What up, Pete? Happy holidays, brother Mike. How you doing, fam? How you doing? How you doing, all right? How you doing? How you doing? All right. Let me see something. Uh, let's see. Ruben says facts, Pete. You better believe it's facts, fam. Stop it now. April 2nd. You better believe it, fam. We're going to look for that. Any truth to the trout rumors? Give it a couple of weeks and we'll find out. You should never bite the hand that feeds him. I'm right there with you, man. That's kind of, I, I find that messed up, man. Trey Torres, Herman, and prospects for Hap. Let me ask you guys a question real quick, man, because there, there's a, there is like a big back and forth in um, Yankee land about trading Gleyber Torres. And there's a lot of people, there's a lot of Yankee fans that's like, you can't trade Gleyber Torres. You can't trade him. i tell you guys this right now. Look, I think Gleyber Torres had a bounce back year, but let me try to put it into perspective why I do believe you should trade him. And I know people say, well, Pete, he was one of our better offensive players. And he was. There, there's, you know, he had a couple of months. That, he was a, over 800 OPS at one point. And then he really tailspin a little bit. But Gleyber Torres got two years left on his deal. 2023 and 2024, right? The Yankees are not going to re-sign Gleyber Torres. He's just coming off of a really good year. In my opinion, the Yankees losing Gleyber Torres, if they upgrade some other positions, is the way to go. And on top of that, I'm sorry. I'm sick and tired of this dude dogging it all the time. I'm tired of it. I'm t Look, I almost felt bad for Aaron Boone because you know Aaron Boone doesn't want to dog on his players, and I get it. I would, but I'm not Aaron Boone. You know what I mean? I'm not Aaron Boone. Backstage baseball. I don't. That's my guy right there, man. Go follow backstage baseball. Matter of fact, go follow KOD Media, my guys. Go follow KOD Media. Get yanked Friday be there, be square, and if you're not there, get yanked, all right? Um, but no, I would trade him, though. I would trade him. I would trade him. I would definitely trade him. Perry! What's good, Perry? He says, 
Is Torres a good offensive piece? Yes. Is he a winning player? Hell no. And look, that's how that's what it comes down to me, man. Um, that that's what it comes down to me, man. The beautiful, lovely, wonderful fiance says, Davy, just swing by one of NY News TV events and you can meet him. Yeah, of course. What did Davy say? Let me, let me go find out where's my boy Davy at. Where's my boy Davy. I don't see any. Who's Davy? Davy? I don't see no Davy. Oh, there's Davey. I would love to meet you one day, the 80s Yankees. Yeah, man. Um, please come by one of our events. I love to meet my I love to meet you guys. You guys already know, man. Meeting the meeting the subscribers. Um, I still go back June 25th, um, NYY News TV Day. The first event we did was fantastic. And I'll tell you guys the truth, man. Um some of you, some of you went from, and trust me when I tell you this, I don't take this lightly. Some of you went from subscribers to no joke. It's like this is this is be, this has became a family. You know, Hirsch, um, Johnny Almonte, Medina, Ra Thompson, uh, just to name a few. You know, I met all of you guys already, and I tell you what, following me for a long time, and you guys are like family, man. You guys truly are, and all a lot, all of you are. I'm missing a lot of people. A lot of you are. You guys are awesome, man. I can't wait to do it again. Dan says, I do get annoyed when non-Americans criticize our country. Even with our problems, it's like having someone else criticize your family, like mind your business. Yeah, man, look, um, everybody knows me already. I'm extremely patriotic. I love America. So it's the only place I know. I'm always going to stick up for my country, no matter what. Look, you know, not even getting into any any type of political things. I'll defend this country no matter what. I, I don't care who's president. I don't care what. Don't talk about America. I love this country, okay? I absolutely love America no matter what, no matter what we're going through, have gone through. I love this country. That's simple. Do you think Judge, as captain, makes a huge impact? I kind of feel like, based on what I've been told about the clubhouse, I kind of feel like they, they already felt like he's been playing that role. And he did mention that what I, I do like that he did say that he feels he knows there's more responsibilities now that come with this. So if you guys remember, there's something that I've said a while ago. Oh, DJ Steele's on Root for America. Fuck Italy. <laughs> Italy ain't done shit for me. It's just my, you know what I mean? Italy ain't done nothing for me. You know what I mean? Most Northern Italians can't stand my family anyway. Sicilians, they hate us, so it don't matter. Fuck Italy. America all day, baby. Um, <laughs> uh, what is, what was I, what was I talking about? DJ Steele threw that one out there and cracked me up. I don't even remember what I was talking about. But, um. Yankees morning brew was on point the other day during the live stream. Keep it up. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, man, I talk about my team a lot and Hector does an amazing job on Yanks morning brew. I've, I've said that all the time. I've always said that Hector does a hell of a job, man. Yanks morning brew is absolutely classic. No, I rep the, Ita I rep the Italian American heritage because if I rep the Italian heritage, I'll be walking around fucking New York with blonde hair if I was a northern Italian and a man purse. That ain't me, baby boy, okay? I don't do all that. All right? Sicilians are very different than northern Italians, and I believe Italian Americans are the best. I don't give a poot. Our culture is beautiful, and I love that. And I love that. Uh, Pete, big news on my end. This is from Sunil. I'm upgrading my 85-inch TV. Hold on a second. I got to get a bigger. I can't see for shit. I still haven't gone for that vision appointment. Babe, make me that appointment, baby. Come on, what you doing? Uh, let me see, hold on. He says, Petey, big news on my end. Stupid pop-ups, come on. Uh, where we at, where we at? Uh, let's see, upgrading the 85-inch TV downstairs from full array to OLED. I don't know what that is. Looking forward to opening day. Turned a big, oh, yeah, turned a big 50 on April 4th. I like that, man. I like that, man. No doubt. That's what's good. That's what's good. That's what's good. Yeah, man, Hector does a great job. Of course, Hector. You know me, fam. We always, I'm always there for you, bro. I'm always there for you. I'm always there for you. Who we got from, uh, 
Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Very true. Oh, Mark Yanks fan. We got a new member to the Real Talk Package. Let's go, fam. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family, my guy. My guy. It's my guy, all right? All right, that is my guy all day, er day. Guys, we are 27 likes away from 200. Do me a favor and smack the shit out that like button like you Domingo Herman, all right? The fiance hates Spank. I don't know why she hates Spank so much, but but she she definitely she's definitely not a fan of Spank. Spank! What are you doing with Spank? Look at Spank. Come on, Spank. Look at little Spank. How can anybody not like Spank? Guys, wanna do it for the fiance? Spank, you ready to go? Guys, oh, oh, go Spank! Go Spank! That's for you, babe, all right? Keep talking about Spank, okay? Uh, let's see. Chris says, you should come to the Yankees event on February in New Jersey. Bro, my February's already packed. My February's already packed. See, Johnny loves Spank. Spank be chilling, fam. I'm telling you. AA says, I am from Bensonhurst. Let's go, Bensonhurst. How you doing? How you doing, Bensonhurst? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, what's going on? Do you hate Spanky more or Mustache Poppy? Mustache Poppy is legendary. Guys, by the way, too, if you guys have not watched the 2022 recap video we put out I don't know what you guys are waiting for man that video is classic I'm telling you man I might have watched that video about five times since then and it cracks me up every single time every single time every time that video gets me man Anthony what's going on fam how you doing man this is the most entertaining show on the platform <laughs> my friend thank you so much man I appreciate that I appreciate that guys Guys, by the way, just a couple of quick updates for everybody. Um, let me see this from DJ Steels. If Pete doesn't bring uh, bring Spank because of Jira, then I will personally buy Spank replica and bring it to the Rodone debut. That that's that's fam right there, man. Baby, hear that? That is fam. DJ Steels. That is love. That is brotherly love. That's my guy right there. Steels. By the way, fam, you know you're getting a hug from me, bro. I don't I don't do the little, you know. When it when it's when it's my, my when you know you my guy you getting a hug, my man. Let me tell you everybody getting a hug. Hirsch getting a hug. Medina getting a hug. Rod Thompson, uh. But I already met you guys. Let me talk about the people I haven't met real quick that I know for a fact getting a hug. My man Jigaman Porto, my man Hector getting a hug. DJ Steele's getting a hug. Spanky gonna get a hug just for the hell of it because he's spank. All right. Chrissy Miller, how you doing? <laughs> L.I. Yankee King. Wow, man. He wants the... There's going to be a hell of a fight there. Mustache Poppy has been here longer, so definitely Poppy. I she loves guys. I'll tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you guys this right now real quick. Secretly, she loves Mustache Poppy. I, I, I'm just... Johnny Almonte, you already got one, but you're going to get another one. Don't worry about it, fam. Secretly, guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something... To you guys real quick, right? I was sleeping when I had the mustache. It's mustache poppy. And the character came out of me. Like I said, I was just oozing machismo. I can't even do it the same way anymore because I need the mustache. So I'm sleeping and she wakes me up. She goes, good morning, mustache poppy. I said, <laughs> that's it. That's all I said because I knew the deal. I knew what the deal was, fam. I knew what it was. She already knew. She loves mustache poppy. You're damn right. <laughs> I tell you, man, mustache poppy all day, fam. She already know the deal. That's what it is. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, backstage baseball, fam. I got you, bro. You know that. You already know. But we are working on that, guys. Rod Tom says, do you consider Machado big if the Yankees traded for him? Rod, come on, fam. Of course. Of course. Manny Machado to the Yankees? I shit myself live. I would come up on here and there'd be a little smell meter. And you would just see the smell meter going up to Dookie land. Okay? You would see the smell meter bop, 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 duke! Right up to the top rope. Fucking Macho Man Randy Savage down. 
from the top rope. I would flip shit if we ever got Manny Machado. No doubt about it. Pete, you need both hands going to get a new microphone. Pete, you need... I'm telling you, I got... No, I got a new one. I got a new one coming, guys. Thank you guys so much. I got my boy coming back. If anybody missed the conversation, I spoke to... Um, Lewitt, LCT, 441 Flight. It's a $400 microphone, right? So I spoke to them, okay? And come to find out, I showed the guy the video of me going, hey! I sent him that. I'm like, this is kind of the shit that I do. He sees it, okay? Laughing under his breath, of course. And he goes to me and he says, why don't you have the sponge protector on top, the cover, the mic cover? And I sit there and go, ah, you know, I've been doing music my whole life. I know I got the pop filter. I didn't want to put the, the cover on it. He goes, well, this is how dumb I, I've been doing music my whole life. I didn't recognize this. You do know that when saliva gets into a condenser mic, see, okay, this is what, this is what I'm supposed to have on it. You see, look, look, you're not supposed to yell into this. There you go. Now you're fine to do all, anything you want. My man looks at me and, you know, says on the phone, what, the, what are you doing? What are you doing? You didn't notice? Of course that's why I broke. You spitting into the John John. You blew it up. So now when I get it, <laughs> condenser, the, the spongy top thing will be on top. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Try not to spam the same thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, who, who said what. Um, Yanks Morning Brew. Uh, Yanks Morning Brew, my guy. My guy, she already knows. She already knows, man. She's uh, she's uh, she's gonna get the, she's gonna get the mustache poppy shirt. But you know, for her, it's better. She got the real thing. <laughs> uh, my guy Hirsch says the only way the Yankees get Trout is when Hal goes fishing in the Gulf of Mexico. Maybe, but hey, you know, hold on tight there, Hirsch. You never know. Stranger things have happened, as Pop Simonetti once said. Stranger things have happened. Correa is injury problem and the problem waiting to happen. Nah, I would go, I would go all over Correa. Correa, forget about it, man. Correa, Machado, Trout, give me any one of those guys, and I'm happy as, I'm happy as a pig in shit. I would be happy as a pig in shit. Let me tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. Let's get an update on the sub count. Oh, I, I met, been meaning to tell you guys, seven subscribers away, guys, from fourteen thousand two hundred. By the way, real quickly before we get ready um, to start to wrap this up, I do want to talk about something, some updates for next year. As you guys already know, my next big project that I actually started to work on today, guys, is Game Season Live. So as you guys already know, Game Season Live may have been one of the biggest thing on Yankees YouTube overall. Excuse me, overall. I think Game Season Live was one of the biggest things that came to Yankee YouTube. And it, it's really just such an enjoyable thing to do. And I love doing it so much. Um, and I've also recognized that it is a major show for NYY News TV. It is a big time show for us. And I'm really excited about it. Uh, oh, we got a big super chat from Ahmed. I mean, Belfort, hope I said that right. I hope I said that right, my friend. I would trade Torres for a bag of chips. <laughs> He's a rally killer. His decision-making is suspect at times on the infield, and plus we need more contact hitters to balance this lineup. We don't need a 200 home run hitting club, uh, hitting ball club, small ball. Fam, I'm right there with you, no doubt about it. And it's funny because... You said trading for a bag of chips. Bro, on Twitter, I said trading for a pair of used, uh, used the dirty-ass socks. I don't give a poot. I think he got to go, to be honest. I think the Yankees should trade him. But getting back to what I was saying, man, um, game season live, I, I said to myself, I said, man, I'm putting all this work into designated spitters. We we're fixing up NYYST a little bit now that SGR is back. By the way, welcome back, SGR. Very, very happy to have SGR back in the fold. He makes that show complete. And NYYST is can't miss. Doing a lot of work, of course, on a new show, Get Yanked, which is friggin' phenomenal. Friggin' phenomenal. Unbelievable. It's phenomenal. I love that show. 
And Designated Spitters, of course, I could just tell. Of course, you guys already know. We got a big announcement coming on Designated Spitters. You guys already saw that new intro I posted to Designated Spitters on Twitter. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It is absolutely awesome. One more thing. Um, for Game Season Live. So, I'm sitting back and I'm thinking about what do we do to make Game Season Live even better? And... I really went to work with graphics. So I'm going to have player cards coming up. I'm going to have, um, it's going to show the matchup for the day. Change the template up a little bit. But the template is so clean, I don't really want to mess with it too much. You know what I mean? I, I really don't want to mess with it too much. I kind of want to let it be. Um, so I didn't change it up too much. It does look even better than before. Working on the intro a little, might have new music. Um, I got some friends that make music for me and we're working with them. Uh, of course, if you guys have heard uh, the Designated Spit is new intro we got. Uh, the intro that I just played on here before I went live, that is brand new. So we're working on so many things behind the scenes, guys. My fiance could tell you, uh, I never stop working. I never stop working to make this the best place in the world. And I bring in people like Hector, like Jigaman, because they're great at what they do. And I want people like that to be a part of NYY News TV, guys, because one, they speak facts, they tell the truth, and they're extremely entertaining. Entertainment is a big key to what we do. I, 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 if you guys see it, it's the best in Yankees news, rumors, and entertainment for a reason. I want you guys to laugh. I want you guys to, I want to laugh at myself. You know what I mean? I like laughing at myself. You know, what I do, it's comical sometimes, man. I go back and watch it. My voice gets so high. It's hilarious to watch, man. I love it. I love it. And yeah, man, uh, Hector has a hell of a voice. Probably going to get Hector to sing the national anthem at some point this year. <laughs> Dan says, your intro songs are always top tier, bro. Appreciate it, Dan. Thank you so much, fam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dan. You are, in fact, the man. But I had a lot of people, too, talking about, um, what was it? Uh, I had a lot of people talking about the video I put out earlier today um, about Anthony Volpe. And a lot of people were like, oh, Pete. Anthony Volpe's not going to get a chance and blah, blah, blah. Guys, look, if you believe Michael K more than me, then go listen to Michael K. Michael K said the same exact thing. And, I, and I, I've been told the same thing too, that Anthony Volpe's going to get a, a, a real chance to win the shortstop job. So interesting stuff. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Let's see where we are right now in that sub count, folks. Are we getting closer? We are still seven subs away <coughs> from, oh, excuse me. 14,200. Uh, so we are slowly getting there. Yeah. Ra. Ra said, I got a voice. I can sing. South of the border where the tuna fish play. Uncle June. I didn't know you were. No, wait. Uncle June. Wait, what is it again? Ra, help me out here. Uncle June. I thought you were. Oh, I thought you were a bacala guy. What are you doing eating sushi? <laughs> yeah, look, man, I I've said this all the time. I, I don't care if people, you don't have to believe me. You don't, you know, I mean, at this point, it's kind of comical when people go, oh, he just makes things up. Okay. Okay. No problem at all. No problem at all. Um, But... With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this baby on up. Until next time, I don't know when that will be because, like I said, tomorrow I'm busy. Maybe I'll have something in the morning for you guys. I don't know. Me and the fiance is going to be out from, like, 1 o'clock to, like, 11 o'clock at night. So hopefully there's no big breaking news tomorrow. I doubt it. Uh, Steel says Spank's brother will be at Carlos Rodon's debut. Oh, shit. I don't know about, all right, we'll see. Well, we'll see. Uh, Spank, you know. Oh, there, oh, no. Spank. What do you do? Who's your brother, Spank? Who is your daddy and what does he do? 
All right, guys. Until next time, much love to every one of you. I got to get that order in from Johnny. Go to nyynewstv.com, guys. Get your gear. Get your merch. We'll get the captain hat. I'm ordering the captain hat next week because it's going to go right there. You're going to see the captain hat right there all year long. This Bud's for you, Pete, my man. I appreciate you. Pete should do a live New Year's. Hirsch, don't give me ideas. You know I might do that. I might do that, Hirsch. We'll see. Get Yanked is on Friday, guys. Friday at 4 p.m. is Get Yanked. Be there. Be there, be there, be there. Have a great night, guys. I love you. Talk to you guys very, very soon. Adios.